welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am PD Orski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in this fourth video tutorial on cool Drupal 7 modules, I want to introduce you to another module that's based on Path Auto, and that's the Sub Path Auto module. So before we get into this, again, big favor to ask if this module or this video tutorial helps you, please leave me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. And let me know. I read all the comments and try to get back to people if they have questions uh, or concerns. So please let me know. Uh, it helps me improve these video tutorials and make sure that I'm on the right track. So that said, Go ahead and grab the Drupal 7 version of this. Head back over to your site, modules, install new module. Again, just remember we've got the administration menu. That's where this drop down is coming down, Drupal cool modules 2. Go ahead, paste in the install from a URL here and click install. And the reason why we can do that is because I've got the site manager module installed. So then once you do that, we're going to go over to modules. And from the first video tutorial in the series, I've got module filter uh, installed here and enabled. So I can type in path and see that sub path is right here. Check that off, make sure it's uh, enabled and you can save that configuration. Once you've done that, the configuration page, you can obviously get to from right here in the table, or you go to configuration, search and metadata, URL aliases, sub path settings. So this is honestly the fourth or fifth time I've tried to record this video tutorial in plain language, what this maximum depth of sub path is, sub paths to alias means. So I think the best way to explain it is to open up a Google Doc and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Essentially what this is, is it refers to the parts of the URL that come after the argument. So looking at a Google Doc, your typical uh, Drupal uh, system uh, URL would be node slash one, right? We've used path auto to create this as content slash uh, whatever the title is. So let's just say Pete's content, right? The edit page for these, is actually node one slash edit, right? So if I go to go to edit this alias path, it's gonna revert me back to node slash one slash edit. And you can see that if I open up my content here and I go to edit, I'm going to node slash one slash edit. Ignore this destination, that's just gonna tell Drupal where to go back when I save this. But, so if users had the ability to create nodes and edit their own nodes, the node would be created at our alias path content slash test. But if they went to edit that, they'd be all of a sudden redirected to node one slash edit, which is a little bit ugly. And so that's what this module addresses. So rather than having content or node one slash edit, we would have content slash Pete's content slash edit, right? Now this Pete's content is the argument, right? This is always going to be dynamic. And so that in Drupal is shown by this percentage. Um, so the maximum depth refers to how far after this we are going to create some aliases. So if I had another configuration page, which was like, you know, Pete's configuration, this actually wouldn't exist. It would revert back to this internal path and go to Pete's configuration, right? So that's where you might want to change this to a two or a three, depending upon what you have installed uh, and what your users are able to do. I hope that wasn't confusing. If it was, leave a comment and we can discuss it. The other thing to note, the skip administration path. So the edit path, remember with this order, this max is already hitting uh, the edit page, but you can see on my site here, I'm still going to node one slash edit. That's because it's skipping administration path. So I can check that off, save the configuration. If I go back, shouldn't reload this page, but if I go back to content and then I go to edit, you'll see now I'm on content, test edit, right? So it has created a path alias for this and is using that. So again, hopefully this wasn't too confusing. I know this is a little bit longer than the other cool Drupal 7 module uh, video tutorials, but again, this tutorial uh, or this module I think is pretty awesome. What's interesting to me is that Path Auto's got reported hundreds of thousands of installs, but this module only got 300 or 3000 installs. Granted, this Drupal 7 version was carried over from another actual project page, but anyways, that's beside the point. Hopefully this helps you. If it does, leave me a comment, let me know, and we'll see you for the next video tutorial. Thanks very much.